And I'm gonna take you all the way back to 1990. At that point in time, I was 20 years old, I was a junior in college, and I can honestly say I was what you would call a complete underachiever, a real master at making excuses. I was never in a position to live up to my potential. And whether it be in the classroom or in sports, I always had a good excuse when I couldn't do the things that I had set out to do. It was either the teacher or a teammate or the coaching, never me. Now, this was one of those moments in my life that was life changing. I realized something about myself, that this was essentially the type of person I am. That I say I'm gonna do something, and then the first sign of difficulty, I just jump ship. And then I make an excuse so that I don't have to feel badly about myself. I might do something called the life projection. And I think, okay, if that's the kind of person that I am, where really, no BS, am I gonna end up in life? And I forced myself to kind of look down the road five, 10, 15 years at the kind of man I was going to be if I continued to be this excuse-making person. The video, and I, I've watched this video no less than thousands, thousands of times over the last 30 years, was very, very uncomfortable. It was me being someone I did not want to become. This is not a pep talk of test your manhood, test your womanhood, go find a sauna. That, that's not what this is. If you had a bar chart of Jason Selk's life, before and after that sauna experience that day, you wouldn't see this great spike of increased success or happiness or health. You wouldn't see that. That's not how this thing worked. But what you would see is a very slow but constant increase in my success, my health, my happiness, my relationships. I was gonna stop making excuses. This pattern of the no excuse mentality it is extremely common with those who are most successful. So I wanna challenge you. Remember Dan Gable's words after he loses that college wrestling match? He said these words, I'm sorry, there's no excuse. This will never happen again. What is the one thing you wanna accomplish that you're gonna stop using excuses?